Hey everyone, this is Michael again and welcome to another review. And today I'm going to review last night's Elimination Chamber pay-per-view. Uh, now last night, Elimination Chamber, uh, I thought it was good. Uh, I thought I had some uh, okay and good matches. And I'm going to tell you the matches that were fought and give my reviews on them. So let's get started. Uh, I'm going to start with the kickoff show. And it was Curtis Axel and Ryback versus Goldust and Cody Rhodes. And while Curtis Axel and Ryback came out, they were joined by uh, Curtis Axel's, I think, uncle, uh, Larry the Axe Hennon. And I thought this was a good match. Uh, I enjoyed uh, seeing the Rhodes brothers. Uh, together in the match and uh, it was pretty good and then uh, you had uh, Goldust and Cody Rhodes winning with uh, when Cody hit the cross the crossroads on Curtis Axel uh, but overall it was a good match I liked it and now on to the uh, regular uh, card matches and the first match was Jack Swagger versus Big E for the Intercontinental Championship. Uh, pretty good match. Uh, really liked it. Uh, a lot of back and forth action. Uh, great wrestling from both of these superstars. I like Big E. I'm a fan of Big E. And uh, he won uh, and still retains the Intercontinental Championship hitting the, uh, the big ending on Jack Swagger. Uh, but overall, it was a good match. Liked it. And the next was Road Dog and Billy Gunn, New Age Outlaws, of course, versus the Usos for the Tag Team Championships. And uh, I liked this match. It was really good. I enjoyed seeing both of these superstars, uh, especially uh, New Age Outlaws. Love DX. And uh, I was rooting for the Usos to win the tag team titles. But, uh, you know, the Usos, in my opinion, deserve to be tag team champions. Because they have a lot of charisma in the ring. And a lot of chemistry. Uh, but the New Age Outlaws won. And they still retain the tag team championships. I think with uh, Billy Gunn uh, rolling up. With Billy Gunn pinning, uh, I think it was either uh, J Jimmy or Jay. I think it was Jay, though. Uh, but yeah, so New Edge Outlaws still retain the tag team titles. Uh, but overall, it was a good match. I liked it. And next was Darren Young versus Tyus O'Neill. Uh, not. Not good of a match because uh, we all know uh, the WWE writers broke up Darren Young and Tyus O'Neill. Uh, they're not primetime players anymore. Tyus O'Neill as a heel, Darren Young as a face, baby face. But uh, this was not good of a match. Uh, Tyus O'Neill got the win. Uh, but not a good match. And the next match was the best match of the night. And in my opinion, the best match of the year so far. And it was the Shield versus the Wyatts. The Wyatt family. And this match, really, really good match. Really loved it. Uh, crazy, crazy match. Uh... It was. It lived up to the hype. This match lived up to its hype, and it was amazing, really good. In my opinion, this match is going to be a future classic. Uh, you just had before the match started, just the Shield and the Weiss just going all out because the bell haven't, you know, the bell didn't ring yet, and it was great. And you had the Wyatts putting Seth Rollins through the Spanish announce table. 
And yeah, the powerhouse Roman Reigns almost win the match uh, for the Shield. And just out of nowhere, uh, Harper, it was Harper, got into the ring and Roman Reigns speared Harper. And then Bray Wyatt got in and did the, st the Sister Abigail on uh, Roman Reigns. And uh, actually the first time that Bray Wyatt was going for the going for Sister Abigail, Roman Reigns actually got out of got out of the move, which was amazing. It shows how strong uh, Roman Reigns is, and you know if they do a storyline uh, breaking up the Shield, Roman Reigns is gonna go far. I could see him being WWE World Heavyweight Champion later in the future. But uh, the Wyatt family got the win with, uh, of course, Bray Wyatt hitting Sister Abigail on Roman Reigns. Uh, overall, best match of the night. Uh, gonna be, like I said, gonna be a future classic match. And, yeah, so, really good match. And next was AJ Lee versus Cameron for the Divas Championship. Uh, this was just a throw-in Divas match uh, to kill some time for the pay-per-view. Uh, of course, AJ Lee, longest reigning Divas champion. Uh, last night marked her 252, uh, 252nd day as Divas champion. And I hope she uh, doesn't drop the title in a couple of months. I wish that she could stay Divas Champion uh, for a couple of more months and or also maybe go another year uh, holding the title because you know I'm, I'm a fan of AJ uh, she has good you know mic skills uh, but this match uh, ended in the DQ with outside interference from uh, Tamina uh, you know, Cameron, Cameron wins the match, and but you know, AJ Lee still retains the Divas Championship. But you know, overall, it was okay. It was an okay match. Next was Batista versus Alberto Del Rio. Uh, not good of a match. You had uh, Del Rio coming out, uh, faking an injury. So he wouldn't wrestle Batista, and you know, he, Del Rio just hit Batista with his uh, crutch, and just started taking out Batista uh, before the bell even uh, rung. And uh, just it, when the bell rung, just Batista was going all out on Del Rio, and uh, of course Batista got the win with the Batista bomb on Del Rio. Uh, overall, not good of a match, in my opinion. And the next match was the main event, which was the Elimination Chamber match. Uh, it was Daniel Bryan, Sheamus, John Cena, Cesaro, and Randy Orton. Um, an Elimination Chamber match for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Uh, this was the 17th Elimination Chamber match, and whoever won the match... Uh, gets to meet Batista at WrestleMania and challenge and put the WWE World Heavyweight Championship on the line. Uh, my picks were Daniel Bryan, Sheamus, and John Cena. And of course John Cena and uh, Sheamus got eliminated. And my only hope was Daniel Bryan. And once again... The WWE creative team screws Daniel Bryan out of winning the WWE World Heavyweight Championship, the WWE World Heavyweight Title, because you had the Wyatts uh, coming for no apparent reason, taking out John Cena. You had uh, Kane coming there, uh, Daniel Bryan taking out Kane, and just almost at the end of the match, Kane. Uh, took out Daniel Bryan uh, to help Randy Orton retain the uh, WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Uh, and then, you know, Randy Orton hit the RKO on Daniel Bryan. 
uh, which sucks because uh, you can see from if you watched it the WWE crowd in the audience that cut to their faces you could tell that they were disappointed you could tell that they wanted Daniel Bryan to win the title and oh this shows watching this this shows I think the WWE uh, creative team the writers they ha you could tell that they have a vendetta with Daniel Bryan winning the title you, you could tell and you know we're all just waiting for uh, Daniel Bryan to win the title that would be a great great moment I mean this I mean this shit has been going on since SummerSlam and uh, it's time to end it let the WWE creative team uh, just write and let Daniel Bryan be WWE World Heavyweight Champion you know, that should happen so but overall terrible chamber match in my opinion uh, so yeah so anyways uh, that's it for my elimination chamber pay-per-view review uh, thank you all for watching and today I'm doing this video on the day uh, which is today February 24th and today is the launch of the WWE Network uh, hope you all uh, signed up for it uh, know it may be awesome but me am I signing up for the network today no I'm waiting for it uh, you know I'm waiting to you know a couple of months down the road but uh heard people uh, already are having problems with it so that's what you get when you sign up you know when a lot of people sign up the day it comes out so so I'm not getting the network till you know a couple of months down the road so or maybe I don't know it's a maybe for me for getting the network so so yeah so anyways thank you all for watching and until the next video i'll see you all later